so excited for our comedian this week. We have incredibly talented, let's give it up for Dave Sokolowski! Oh man, yeah, I, I, my last name is Sokolowski and I love it when I, I meet new people because they kind of look at my last name and go, can we just introduce you as Dave? Like, is that okay? Uh, my last name is Polish, I am not. I'm kind of like Pol-ish. Um, but about 10 years ago, it was, uh, I, I probably made the dumbest decision of my life. Uh, I married into a Polish family. And uh, as soon as they found out my last name, they were like, oh, so you must be able to speak Polish. And I'm like, no. And they're like, well, why not? I'm like, because I don't, I don't need to. Well, what happens if you want to go home? I'm like, I'm from Toronto, man. Like, if the last mayor taught me anything, I might need to learn to speak Patois. That's about it. <laughs> but now we've got, my wife and I, we have a daughter, and, you know, she's raising her Catholic, I'm raising her sarcastic. <laughs> and they're teaching her Polish, and they're like, well, what are you going to do when she starts speaking Polish to you? I'm like, I'm going to do the exact same thing I do to you people. I'm just going to ignore her. Like, we're sending her to a Catholic school, and she's just started senior kindergarten. She got her first bus pass this year, and um, as soon as she got it, she was all happy because she ran home, and she was like, Daddy, I got a bus pass. I'm like, that's really cool. Let me see it. And there's rules on the bus pass, which kind of freaked me out. Some of the rules are kind of standard, you know, like no standing on the bus, no distracting the driver. You know, uh, you get down to rule number six. There's no fighting, no drinking, no swearing, no smoking on the bus. I'm like, where are we sending you to school? I'm like, do you, do you even get all this? And she just looks at me and she's like, yeah, it, it technically means you can't come on the bus with me. <laughs> but I mean, like, I do, I do love my daughter. We took her down to Disney last uh, couple of months ago to see the alligator pits. Um, she was all excited about that and everything else. And like, you guys remember that story, right? With the, with the gator in Disney? Like, that, that freaked me out for two reasons. Because one, it freaked me out that they, they've just allowed to roam anywhere. And two, I was kind of upset that they don't come this far up north. Because that's a good deterrent for kids, you know. <laughs> like, calm down or you go see the gators. Just saying. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's pretty much about my time, is it not? Is it, like, there's two, three minutes. Or, thank you for supporting live comedy. Sure. <laughs> so did you get to see the gators when you guys went over? Um, actually, yeah, there was, there was actually quite a few gators, uh, like in the Disney parks. Right. And I was kind of like, oh, I really thought they would have gotten rid of all these guys by now. Like, <laughs> I just kind of made me nervous though. Yeah. But. It's such a bizarre thing that had happened. It, it was, but and I mean, like, I know, like, as soon as that happened, I was kind of like, I've got a joke for this. This is going to be, you know, and I, I just kind of, I, I told it the first night, and everybody was kind of like, ooh, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> what, too soon? Like, <laughs> and I mean, like, yeah, it's, it, and that's the thing with comedy, though. It's either right. it's going to be too soon, or it's so far out of date that everybody's going like, I think I remember that. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's true. And it's all based on people's opinions too, right? Yeah, so. and I mean, like that's that's the other thing too, because I mean, like I I don't really get offended by much, so <laughs> I'm like, eh, we'll see how it goes right. and everything else. So cool. Well, you've done a whole bunch of things. You're not only a comedian, you're a musician as well. Uh, well, yeah. A little bit. Sure. I learned like uh, six or seven notes on a on a bass guitar, and uh, me and two of my friends did a, a comedy band called Three Men Two Souls. Okay. And uh, we released an album, and you can find us on YouTube and everything else with some of our songs. But yeah, it was more more or less like uh, a good friend of mine was good at writing music, another good friend of mine was good at singing, and I was good at writing jokes. Nice. So we just kind of combined all three and, and did an album and a half that <laughs> awesome. uh, we lasted for about a year and then okay. that was about it. Cool. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Where can we find you next? Uh, next. That's a good question. Uh, next Friday, I mean, well, yeah, I guess next Friday. We'll, we'll go with next Friday because I don't know when this airs. So <laughs> <laughs> next Friday, I'm in Milton and everybody's going to be singing. 
it was like three weeks ago. What the hell? <laughs> um, yeah, so next Friday I'm in Milton uh, at Rad Brothers on uh, Friday night. Uh, next Sunday I'm in Toronto at Einstein's. Okay. And then um, I know there's a third one coming up, but I can't think of it right oh, now. Oh, we can find that on online? Yes, you can awesome. find it online at uh, Uh You can find me on Twitter at at a ton of fun. Cool. Um, and you can also uh, follow my ha hashtag, which is support live comedy. Awesome. Thank you so much. And you're going to join us for a game. I've so heard that, yes. And as long as it's not Twister, I'm open. Awesome. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Take it away, Nighttime Dan.